What's going on everybody? It's Jonathan from Enigma Photos and today I'm very excited about this video because we get to check out the most expensive headphone that we've ever had on this channel. What we'll be checking out is the Focal MG Clears. Luckily I saw that there was an open box at a store near me and I wanted to check them out so I went ahead and got them there so I didn't have to pay the $1,600 that they cost. So are they form or are they function or are they both? Let's find out. So let's start with form. This is the box that the Focal MG Clears come in. And once you take the top off the box, you have two things. You've got the, the case that has the headphone and you also have the top, which is pretty cool. So of course, spending that much on headphones, you would expect the presentation to be outstanding. And it really is. Here you have your XLR cable. And then on this side, you have your information. And I already have the regular cable out inside the case. So that's where it would go. You've got your adapter in there. And then all your information, product information, user manual are in here. And of course, being a luxury item, this is kind of cool. If you can hear that, these are magnetized. So kind of a cool little feature. So that is the one part. The second part is the most important part. This is the case that you get. And it is actually a very, very nice and very, very fancy looking case, including these little guys up at top, which are metal. So you open it up and here are your headphones. Very beautiful headphones. I believe uh, Focal calls it chestnut. So you got your cables up top, your headphones down below. So next part we're going to talk about is how comfortable they are on the cables. So here they are, the MG Clears. They are a very, very beautiful headphone. The design, you've got the nice, soft, Alessandra type leather on top. You've got the real leather on the headband. Um, you can see inside the ear cup. Attention to detail is really great on these. These soft memory foam cushions. Put them on. They're not really a heavy headphone at all. And they feel really nice. Get a good comfortable position. You've got this. This is very solid for the adjustment. These are kind of cool because they pop back in. So when you put them on, they glide to the side of your head. So pound for pound, they're a very comfortable and beautiful headphone. Let's talk about the cables. The cables that come with it aren't bad at all. They match, of course, your headphone, which is kind of cool. Um, the coloring also on the end is actually rather nice. So don't see a lot of memory going on with them. Um, they haven't started bunching up or anything like that. So it's not a bad cable. So let's get to the sound. All right, let us talk about the sound. Um, I find these things a safe headphone. Safe by meaning that it's not, it's a well-rounded sound. Nothing's going to stick out. Like you're not going to have some treble sticking out or some mid sticking out. It's just a nice, well-rounded headphone. Um, what I truly like is the bass though. Focal is known for its dynamic bass. It's kind of exciting and exhilarating, especially when you're listening to a Miles Davis track like So What. Um, in the beginning of the track, there is the bass player kind of tickles the string and it causes this vibrato and you feel it in your chest, which is something that I haven't heard in any other headphone. Um, it's just, it's a really cool bass when it comes to this headphone. The mid-range, I gotta say, one of the best sounding vocals um, when it comes to Dominic Philam and uh, Birds. Uh, it just, it's, it's a glorious sound. Um, another thing that I like about these headphones, especially in the treble, not treble, I'm sorry, the mid-range, is uh, live albums. Um, so something like Hotel California, the live version, or Sting, 
with Fragile, the live version. Anything that's live, um, these things really, really, really sound good. Um, the treble to me is not glaring or hot or spicy. It's actually kind of perfect where it sits, maybe a little bit recessed. But when something like Polyphia is playing God, when they're just, you hear the quickness and the fastness. And because these are dynamic, you actually feel it. But um, the, the treble doesn't stick out, especially the drummer who does a lot of cymbal action. Um, it sounds really, really good and very enjoyable. Um, nothing sticks out. It's just kind of a nice blend. And that's how I could really describe the sound of these things, where it's it's literally, they're just good. They sound, um, good's probably not a good word, but they're just good at representing your music. Um, sounds are well, well, well separated. Um, I feel like the staging's good. It's not forward. It's kind of like being in the second or third row back. Um, it's not in your face, and they're just, I hate to say it because it sounds like a pun, but they just have such a clear, beautiful sound, and they're really, really enjoyable. So what's my verdict on these? People, some people get annoyed with all black headphones. Um, some people like form, and they like attention to detail and something beautiful, and these are absolutely stunning headphones. You might not like the color. I think the chestnut's actually really pretty, but they want something that shows an artistic value. And I think Vocal nails it with these. Um, as far as function though, they sound really, really good. Like everything was very, very enjoyable on them. So if you have $1,600, which is a lot of money and want something that looks very unique, has great sound and you can get lost in your music because remember, the most important thing is, am I enjoying my music? Well, yeah, you'll enjoy your music and you'll look stylish at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you next time.